This is the procedure for measuring the percent passing the number 200 sieve. Equipment needed for this test. Electronic scale sensitive to 0.1 gram. Number 16 and number 200 sieves. Brushes for cleaning sieves and pans. A pan or bowl of sufficient size to contain the sample. A spatula for stirring the sample. A stove or oven. Secure a representative sample of the coarse aggregate for testing. The minimum sample size after drying should be a 5,000 gram sample of 3 quarter inch plus coarse aggregate material, 2,500 gram sample of 3 quarter inch minus coarse aggregate material, 500 gram sample of the intermediate coarse aggregate material. Make sure the pan or bowl is of sufficient size to contain the sample covered with water and to permit vigorous agitation without the loss of any part of the sample or water. The original pan or bowl should be used throughout this testing procedure to prevent inadvertent loss of the material. Dry the sample to a constant weight and let cool. Weigh the sample to the nearest 0.1 gram. Record the dry weight of the sample. Add sufficient water to cover the sample. Agitate the sample with sufficient vigor to result in complete separation of all particles finer than the number 200 sieve from the coarser particles and to bring the fine material into suspension. Pour the wash water slowly over the nested number 16 sieve and number 200 sieve arranged with the coarser sieve on top. Repeat the washing process until the wash water becomes clear. Pour the wash water slowly over the nested sieves. Wash the material retained on the sieves back into the sample. Dry the sample to a constant weight and let cool. Weigh the sample to the nearest 0.1 gram. Record the dry weight of the washed sample. Record the difference between the original sample weight and the washed sample weight. This is the loss in washing of the material passing the number 200 sieve. The percent passing the number 200 sieve is determined by dividing the loss in washing by the dry weight of the original sample.